What's going on guys? My name is Jake. And I'm Alex. Welcome to Streets Kuru. And if you've seen any of our videos, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about steering wheels, specifically aftermarket steering wheels. Let's get into it. So one of the first mods that people do is change out their steering wheel. You want to get rid of these big bulky, uh, probably 370 mil steering wheels. They're not fun, not fun to drift with even drive they're not aesthetically pleasing so what we did was went out on ebay and found the cheapest steering wheel that i could find this one was uh i think 30 dollars shipped so we're gonna test this out compare it to both the original and this uh i'd say it's like a mid-grade it's an nrg steering wheel so we're gonna test these out today and see why you should or shouldn't spend money on a steering wheel. First impressions of this, stitching seems kind of loose. Like it's not really tightly sewn in. Oh, you mean to tell me that's not real leather? <laughs> that's not. This is real fake leather. <laughs> real fake, real fake doors. It was, it was $30. I don't know what he's complaining about. <laughs> Aesthetically, it looks cool though. Where are we going? We don't need horns. We don't need horns. We got loud cars, we don't need horns. First, in order to install one of these aftermarket wheels, you're gonna need uh, an aftermarket hub. Uh, this is the NRG one, same as the one that we just got for the Tacoma. Same concept. You gotta take the old wheel off, make sure you disconnect the battery if you have airbags. This car does not have airbags, so it doesn't really matter. But just be careful when you're doing that. You don't want that airbag to blow up in your face when you're pulling your wheel off. So it looks cool, but the question is, does it, is it safe? And I'm gonna go ahead and say right now, that's not safe. Look at the amount of flex that has. You can, you can see it is. <laughs> yeah, man, that looks good. It's comfortable. Well, the sides are good. Jeez. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. You gonna straighten it back out so that you can drive? Yeah, you know, when you get out of the car, you like to... <laughs> how's, she, how's she feel? Feels super safe. <laughs> it looks like one of those rides in, you know, like at Disney. Things that just like click you in. Oh, you're in the tilt-a-whirl and it's the bar that comes over yeah. your lap? I want to cut this open and just show you guys what's inside of these. So if you guys don't want to spend a lot of money on steering wheel, there's also other options you can get. Uh, like I said, this is the NRG one. They're not top of the line, but they're still going to be a good quality. This is just like a good bang for your buck. So Jake's throwing his NRG wheel back in and he's gonna show you how not flexy your steering wheel should be. This is obviously wood, wood grain, their NRG wood grain. I don't know what these are made out of, but they're at least made properly. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have enough money to want to cut open a like $175 wheel. Yeah, and I'm definitely not gonna cut apart the the Nardi wheel that I've got coming. So you can see just from that, you don't want any flex in it. Because if you get in an accident, even just even if it's just a track car, if you get in an accident and this thing folds. So moral of the story. When it comes to safety items, spend more than $30, even the $60 ones. I didn't. I wasn't gonna pay $60, because I already knew it was gonna do this. <laughs> I 
on a real wheel, you're gonna get like a steel bar all the way through that's connected. Solid. Solid, welded. Not a U. Yeah, not this crap. That's garbage. <laughs> Don't spend $30 on these piece of crap ones. Don't spend less than $100 on a steering wheel. There's all kinds of like rep wheels and stuff on eBay and other websites. Uh, most of them will have a stamp on the back that'll have where it's made and you know dates and stuff like that or serial numbers um, there's all kinds of knockoffs though so just be careful what you're buying if it's like a $60 sparkle wheel it's probably not a real sparkle wheel so if you are tempted to buy a $30 wheel don't leave your stock wheel in please and save your money. Spend like $125 on an NRG or save up and get a better wheel. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you wanna follow any of our other builds or future builds, um, just hit the subscribe button. It always helps us. So thanks and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.